What's up everybody? It's Mike aka RivTech and today I'm bringing you my most requested video. It's how to trigger animations and scene changes using chat commands in OBS. Before we get started, as always, the link to everything in this tutorial will be in the description below. Also in the description below are my social media links and the link to my Twitch page. I stream on Twitch four days a week twitch.tv forward slash rivtech with two k's let's get started you're going to go to the trigger fire link down in the description and you're going to click on the top right corner where it says login with twitch after it authorizes and logs you in in the bottom right corner right here next to my webcam you'll see this pink button go ahead and press that pink button then you're going to hit copy link this is going to be the link that you put into either Streamlabs or OBS Studio. Right now, we're gonna use OBS. It's the same thing. We're gonna go, we're gonna hit add down here in the source menu. We're gonna to go to browser, and we're gonna name this trigger fire test. And we're gonna hit okay. We're gonna erase this URL right here. We're gonna copy, we're gonna paste in our trigger fire link. We're going to set this to 1920 by 1080 and then we're going to hit OK. So as you can see, this red line right here, it takes up the whole screen. So we're going to make this smaller. So when it pops up, it doesn't take up the whole screen. We'll put it right here in the center, close to center as possible. And then we will go back to trigger fire. And this is where you will go and you'll build your commands. As you can see, I mean, you'll build your videos, images, and sounds. You can see them up here in the top. So if you already have a video made, like I have this one made right here of Krillin, you'll go to edit. Or if you don't have anything set up, you'll go down here to the bottom on this purple button and hit add. And this will pop this menu up right here in the command name. This is the command name that you want for people to trigger that animation or scene change to pop up on your screen. So I want this one to say cry because in the video, that's what Krillin says. So it's going to say cry and then user level. You can set this to everyone, subscriber, founder, VIP, moderator, broadcaster, or you can do what I did and you hit custom. And then I set this to subscriber, VIP, moderator, and broadcaster. This right here gives people a little bit more of an incentive to subscribe. It makes your chat more interactive and it makes it feel a little bit more exclusive to a viewer who may be on the fence about subscribing to you. Right here is the user cooldown. This is how long the user who activated the command originally has to wait before they can activate the command again. And then right here next to it, it is the global cooldown. That's how long everybody has to wait in the chat before they can activate it again. So I normally set these to the same time just in case uh, somebody else wants to use it again or the user wants to use it again. Right here, you can't see it. It's blocked by my webcam, but there's a save button. You can hit save. And then before you do that, you're going to go up here to select. You're going to hit select video. You can go to upload right here. And then it's just the same as any other thing. You, uh, you can upload your file into here. We'll go back. Once you upload your file, you'll select it and it'll appear on here. You can just, it'll see this menu once you upload it. So we'll select it like that. It'll pop up over here and then you'll go hit save. All right, guys, now that we have that saved, we go back into OBS and where it says trigger fire, we're gonna open that up. We're gonna to go to refresh cache of current page right there and then hit okay. Uh, sometimes when you upload this, you'll have to do that in order for the command to pop up on the screen. So if you don't see your command pop up when you do it or your animation pop up, excuse me, then make sure you go ahead and refresh that cache. So now we'll go into our chat. You can also do this on your phone or on your browser in your chat. I use the stream elements chat on the side. So we'll type in cry. And the reason that you hear it doubled up is because it's also playing through my stream labs in the background, but it won't double up for you when you do it on your screen. All right. 
So that takes care of how to do animations popping up. Next, we'll go into how to do scene changes. All right, everybody, now that I showed you how to trigger animations on screen using chat commands, next I'm gonna show you how to trigger a scene transition. This is where you can get very creative with this. All right, so we're gonna go to that GitHub link in the description below. We're gonna scroll down to the bottom and then you're gonna follow the directions on here for whatever OS you're using, whether that be Mac or Windows. I use Windows, so I'm gonna use the WebSocket for Windows.exe. You're gonna go ahead, and click on that and install it. Once it's installed on your computer, go ahead and restart your OBS. It's very important that you restart your OBS. All right. So we go and we open Windows again. And this is how you can tell if that WebSocket installed correctly. You're going to go to the top to Tools. And then you're going to go and see a WebSocket server settings right here. If you don't see WebSocket server settings, that means that you did not install that correctly. So you'll go into here and everything should be defaulted in here. Hit OK. Next, we'll go into Trigger Fire. And when we're in Trigger Fire, we'll go over to OBS at the top and we will hit Connect right here. Mine says connected because I've already done it. Yours should say connect. So click on that and then we'll hit create and we'll go back to OBS real quick and we're going to change this to this blue screen of death right here and then we're going to make that pop up on the screen so we'll start here and we'll end here go back into trigger fire and we'll type in blue screen and then we'll make this for everyone to use. We'll give it a cooldown of, uh, we'll just do 60, 60 for the video. And then what, where it says manage actions, we'll hit manage action. We'll hit scene. And then a mode will be hold. As you can see down here at the bottom, it'll say switch to scene for five seconds in transition. You can change that duration right here. Uh, we'll make it, we'll go with eight seconds. I don't know, just some random number. And if you go to here, you can also change this to switch and that'll switch to it indefinitely. You'll have to switch back. That's kind of annoying because uh, if you don't have like a stream deck or something like that, you're gonna have to go and click on your OBS. So for now, we'll just hit it on hold and we'll go ahead and change our screen to death right here because that's what I named the blue screen of death source. Then we'll go ahead and hit save go in here we'll hit save again all right everybody now that that's connected and it's saved we're going to go ahead and go into our chat and we're going to type in what do we call it blue screen boom and there it is it pops up on your screen for eight seconds and goes back now if you have a stinger transition like i have right there what you can do is you can right click on this right here and then you can go to transition override and change that to cut so then when you go back and it changes again we'll type in blue screen it cuts straight to it so that looks more realistic than that little luma wipe transition that i have and then it fades back into your stream we now know how to trigger animations and scene changes using commands next i'll go over how to trigger them using channel points first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to make sure you have channel points made right here i have this one called cry if you don't know how to make channel points i have a video on that as well so we're going to do the copy the name cry because it's going to be case sensitive we're gonna go into our trigger fire, go into our edit button, hit uh, this little icon right here, and we're gonna type in cry, so just copy paste, so it says cry. Then we're gonna hit save right there. And then something to note is this one right here is allow command. If you have this checked and somebody redeems the channel point, you still have to type in that command 
the exclamation point cry. If you have this unchecked, then it just pops up using the command and I'll show you what I mean. So we'll hit save. Save again. We will go into our OBS right here. We'll go into our chat, go to channel points. We'll go and find cry it was worth a thousand. It's right here. And I'll click on that. We will redeem it and it'll pop up on the screen. Cry. All right. So that's how you do that for animations and for scene changes it's the same thing you'll go into obs you'll click on the edit button for whatever your scene is you'll go into here and then you'll create a new channel point for that as well and you'll do the same process over all right guys so that's it that's how you do it that's how you become the most interactive stream on twitch with your awesome new channel commands. Again, as always guys, I'm Mike, AKA RivTech. And if you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit subscribe, drop a like, and comment down below. Let me know what videos you would like to see in the future. Like I said, I made this video because this was the most requested one I've gotten across all of my social media pages. And again, if you enjoy my content, I stream four days a week on Twitch twitch.tv forward slash rivtech. Until next time, guys, have a good one.